Okay, we're rolling. When the ice melts, it's not really iced coffee anymore. It's just really diluted coffee. And I don't think anybody's a fan of that. I mean, it's just disgusting. Hey guys, Nano is here, NaNoWriMo. And if you don't know what that is, I will tell you in a second, but I'm very excited. It's a month long holiday for us nerd writers. Nerd writers, nerd writer. Good channel, check it out. But yes, so writers love this month because it's National Novel Writing Month, NaNoWriMo. And a lot of people who have been struggling all year long to finish their novels, finish their writing works, finish their projects, find NaNoWriMo a great excuse to just do that. So on a um, average basis, when it's not NaNo, I get about 500 to 600 words done on average. If it's a really good day, I'm looking at about 1500 to 2000. And if it's a sucky day, I'm looking at zero. But when NaNo is here, I know that I have to hit my quota 1500 words a day because that's basically what nano allows you to do you need to hit 1500 words a day for 30 days and then by the end of those 30 days if you're consistent and disciplined you have a novel or some version of it or like a skeleton of a novel that you can then work upon and improve that's a very good thing <laughs> because you know you have to hit that quota you write even when you don't feel like writing even when you feel like the inspiration isn't there the motivation isn't there what you do is you develop a work ethic if you're successful in doing this and that's way more important than a finished project ever will be because some i've seen some people get really discouraged by the end when they don't finish their project when they don't finish that novel if, let's say they have a third of a novel or no, just a skeleton of it bare bones that's important because what you've acquired is a work ethic that's gonna let you allow you to finish more works and more projects in the future and that's more important than just one project people need to understand that so my plans for nano are threefold number one i plan on writing at least an hour a day every single day for 30 days i have a project that i've been working on for the past couple of years and i really want to get it done this year i feel like i know where the ending is i know where the middle is i know where i want it to become i that's a very comfortable place to be in the last part of it is just doing the work and doing the writing and finding out what the characters need and what the characters want so I feel like if 1500 words a day, I can probably churn out 2000 if I'm if I'm feeling lucky. And by the end of the month, there should be a solid body of work that I can call done. Well, obviously, no art is ever finished, only abandoned. So it will be more of a first draft done. Let's work on the second draft. But just having that first first draft finished is such a f important accomplishment that I am so enviously craving that I need it to be done this month for sure. Um, I know that's a lot of pressure on me, but I've been working on this for a couple of years, so I know where this is going to head. So yeah, that's number one. Number two, in order to do number one, I will on this channel be recording hour long videos of just me writing. Um, I found that watching people study on YouTube has been a really good sort of study buddy work writing buddy thing. It helps, it's productive, it's motivating. So um, I will be recording, not super like technical or um, like it won't be overly produced. It's just gonna be me writing every single day for an hour, but it's gonna be that. And I feel like if you can just put that on and do that yourself, just an hour a day, I think it will be really beneficial for everyone. And I think that'll put me on a discipline task to know that I have to get that one hour video in every day and I'll get some writing done. There's no harm. And the third thing to keep me on task for this NaNoWriMo is to kill my social media apps. I found that every time that I've become super serious about writing, if it was for my poetry book, if it was for short stories that I was writing, socially distancing myself from social media apps has been always beneficial. I've never regretted it. I've only found myself to be calmer, more focused, more zen. To my craft and i really really plan on doing that so for this month all the videos that i make will be upload uh, will be uploaded by my brother but it'll be edited and produced by me obviously um same thing for the pro uh, for the broadcast podcast for um all my instagram twitter stuff you probably see activity but it won't be me um it'll be my brother most likely um that's basically my three-step rule for nanowrimo to get it done 
and hopefully by the end of the month have something concrete to present to the world you know my voice my story uh, with that positive message i hope i can get people on board with this and if you are doubtful about NaNoWriMo if you feel like you won't be able to participate i'm pretty sure you can find half an hour 45 minutes an hour of your day to sit down calmly no internet no phones just you and whatever writing device you use and churn that story out you know it's useful your art matters my art matters that's the number one message from NaNoWriMo that I think people should get. Um, with that, I will sign out. Time for writing. I'll see you on the other side. Those are out.